Alright, what's up guys? This is a new type of video I'll be trying out. This is a huge tip I found for new Need for Speed players. This will help you save money from the start of the game to the very end of the game. It's not a glitch or anything, but basically all you need to do is when you start a game, if you or if you have already started the game, as soon as you can get all of the derelict cars, which you do if you don't know are the cars broken down around the map. And that is kind of the gameplay you will see in the background of me going through some of my derelict cars which I have upgraded to some of them have been 399 and the other ones are just above 300 and I'm still working on some of them and so you will see some gameplay of that and so back to the money making uh, when you get when you get them make sure you make one for each class meaning there's a race off-road drag runner and drift class it doesn't matter which one you choose for the class that part is up to you but keep in mind you can come back whenever you want to and buy a derelict car after you found it for any class so that's basically meaning that you can have this, say this, oh, what you're seeing in the back is this uh, Chevrolet Bel Air, this is a drag car, and you can make this Chevrolet Bel Air a race, drift, off-road, and already you had it for, for drag, and you can make it a runner. You can make it for all those after you found it in all the parts. So um, keep in mind, it doesn't matter what you put in each class because they run about the same, and some of them are maybe better, a little bit better in one class than the other, but they're still going to be pretty good. But the reason why this is a money saver is because these cars can be upgraded to the max level, which is 399 if you didn't know. Uh, this way you don't have to buy new cars to keep up with the events. Because the other way, the, whenever you get the cars in the beginning, they can't be upgraded to the max. So you are going to have to gonna buy a couple, some several other, other cars to keep up with the campaign. And if, if you, whenever I didn't do this, because at first I didn't really do it, but whenever I didn't do it, I found that like I would have to... Every couple of the, of events in the storyline, I would have to go get a new race car or a new drag or a new drift or etc. But I've noticed that I had my original runner car was a uh, the derelict Mustang. And I was like, man, I've been using this one, and I just got to up keep upgrading this one. I don't have to spend the new money on a new car. So that's how I kind of figured it out. And now I am actually playing the campaign, and I am using this Chevrolet Bel Air as my drag car. I have the runner, the Mustang, I have my uh, off-road is the Beetle, my drift is the truck, which I mean, the truck I kind of messed up and I made it off-road first and I just had to go buy it for the drift and it was all good. And then the, what's the last one? Oh, the Fair Lady 240Z, as that's my race car. And then this helped me from the beginning of the campaign to the end of the campaign. And I haven't really beaten the campaign yet, but I'm at the, I'm at the very end part where you have to do the Outlaws Rush. And I, all I have to do is beat the Off-Road and the Runner, and then I will be at the Outlaw Rush. And I will be able to finish that and complete the whole campaign. And I've done it using these uh, these derelicts. So, And I really recommend them because also you can upgrade these to $3.99 and you can also get super builds on them, which look really, really cool. Especially if you do it in the right class. like. What you might be seeing now, I might have edited it's edited some out, but whenever you see the Nissan 240Z, um, this is, it's a race, it's a racetrack car, or a race spec car, but I wish I would have made it a, I think it was a drift, because on a drift, they lower it, the exhaust comes out on the side, and I think they put a hood scoop on the front, which looks amazing, but I didn't do it, but, I mean, all, all I have to do is go back and buy this car as a drift car, then upgrade it again up to get it to level 300 to do the super build. So, that is about all that I have for the video. Um, uh, let me know if this helped you out, and please leave some feedback for me, and I will try to do some more Need for Speed videos like this, because I had a whole script typed up, and I tried to follow it, and I mostly did for the most part. And I will try to make maybe some top five videos. I just have to do a little bit more experimenting, and I will be able to make a lot more after I completed the campaign. So I'll have a lot more time on my hands in Need for Speed. And I have really liked it. I've put almost 40 hours into the game. And that's about it. So um, thanks for watching. Leave some feedback below, and I'll see you next time.
Try to 